Alexis Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious roasted butternut squash barbecue chicken pasta. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious roasted butternut squash barbecue chicken pasta. This recipe is really easy to do but it is slightly time consuming so it will take a little while to cook everything off but the efforts are worth the results. It's a really tasty meal. And I've prepped all of my ingredients already. So all I have to do is simply just put them into my baking tray here. So the first thing I did was I sliced and diced some spring onions. So I cut the tops and the tails from the spring onions. So just the tops and the bottoms if you're wondering what tails is. Some people are, I'm sure. And, uh, and then I just slice them into about half centimetre pieces, like so. And then I also have one carrot as well. I've just found the head of the carrot in there. You don't want to eat that, do we? Um, so I have just simply peeled and sliced it into about half centimetre pieces, I'd say. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, it can be roughly sliced. You're going to blend it at the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But as long as it's sort of even, so it cooks evenly, basically. And then I have peeled about 300 grams of butternut squash. And I've just, again, cut that into about half centimetre pieces. And I'm going to put this into my baking tray, like so. And then I am going to add some spices to this to make it obviously a barbecue flavour. So I have some smoked paprika here as well. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I've actually just run out of that. So I probably need to get some more at the weekend. And then I'm also going to add about half a teaspoon of ginger as well. And then I have um, some cumin, some ground cumin as well. So I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And then I've got some ground dried coriander as well. So I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of coriander. I'm trying not to make this too spicy because my sonny does like spice, but he doesn't like it too spicy. So that's why I'm only using half teaspoons of things. But if you wanted to make it full spice or you wanted to make it a bit spicier, then just obviously add a bit more, add a bit more ginger and smoked paprika as well. And then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, ground sweet cinnamon as well. If you can't get ground sweet cinnamon, then you can always use cinnamon. Doesn't really matter too much. And then I've got some dried oregano as well, or oregano, depending on which side of the world you are standing. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper as well. Again, not too much pepper, because my nine-year-old son isn't a big fan of spice. So I never add too much of anything nowadays. And then I also going to add some salt as well to that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to drizzle some olive oil over the top of those vegetables, like so. And I'm going to toss the vegetables and the spices and herb in together, like so until everything is well coated in all of the oil and the spices just to try to get it as even as possible so it bakes through with all the spices on evenly as well and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the oven for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes or until everything starts to go a lovely golden brown colour. So the butternut squash will probably crisp up around the outside and have a nice golden colour on it as well. So as I said, I'm off to put this into the oven. The butternut squash has been in the oven for about 30 minutes and as you can see it started to go a lovely golden brown colour. So I'm going to take this out of the oven and leave it to cool. While the vegetables are cooking, I'm going to cook off the chicken. So I've got two large chicken breasts. I think this is about 500 grams of chicken I'm just going to put this into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's gone a golden brown color again and then I'll remove it and leave it to cool for a while but I'm going to put this in now while the chicken is cooking I'm going to make the sauce so I've left the butternut squash and all the other vegetables to cool until they are touchable it's still slightly warm but I'm able to touch it so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of these vegetables 
into my blender and then I'll add some chicken stock. So if you, if you haven't got chicken stock, you could use bone broth or you could use vegetable stock as well. And you can also make this sauce um, and freeze it as well. All of the ingredients in this sauce are freezable. So you could make this sauce and just simply freeze it and then you can just take it out and make and um, just cook off the chicken or if you've got any leftover chicken as well leftover chicken will be good with this sauce as well so yeah you can just cook off some chicken add the sauce boil some pasta and that's gonna done so as i said now i'm going to add in my chicken stock so i've got about 600 ml of chicken stock there there is a frozen bit in it i can see that go in um, and that will blend down as well so I'm going to just blend all of these ingredients together. Blended the sauce until it is smooth and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into my saucepan and I'm going to leave this on the hob while I go and cook some pasta. So I'm cooking the pasta as per the packet instructions. I'm also waiting for the chicken to cook as well. The chicken finished cooking, so what I did was I removed it from the oven and I left it to cool for a while and then I just chopped it into chunks. I've had the sauce warming on the stove, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chicken to the sauce like so. Um, and as I said earlier, you can use leftover chicken for this recipe as well. So if you make a roast chicken on the weekend and you've got some leftover, then this sauce goes really nicely with roast chicken. So, or you could use pork in this as well if you wanted to, or you could use a bit of bacon. The decision is yours, to be honest. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pasta to the sauce and not the other way around. So I just cooked off some pasta. And I'm just going to stir all of these ingredients together like so. And um, I'm going to serve this with a bit of salad. My husband and son will probably have cheese on theirs as well. So if you wanted to, you could add a bit of cheese. I'm just going to add a little bit of the pasta water as well, just to make it a bit runnier. So yeah, you could add cheese to this as well. Or if you wanted to, you could make this vegan and just cook off some... Uh, chickpeas or beans in the oven you could make this with beans and you could add like nutritional yeast to give it a bit of a cheesy flavor if you want to as well i might do a recipe on that at some point but for the moment i am going to go and enjoy my dinner but before i do i will give this a try so i'm just going to serve this up and try it for you that's my roasted butternut squash barbecue chicken pasta done and i've added a little bit of salad to the bowl as well and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to try a bit of this just to see how it tastes i want a bit of the pasta as well it smells really good i have to say it smells very barbecuey i have to say it does smell like the barbecue is cooking but it's not mm. oh The chicken is really juicy and tender, but the sauce adds a lot of flavour to the chicken. Mm. And you just get a hit of the spices as they go down. So that is really nice and I'm really looking forward to that for my dinner this evening. That's how you make my delicious roasted butternut squash barbecue chicken pasta and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tasted so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon.